Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 38 to Let's Play Legend of Lagaya, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, time to take on the D Dance Viva show. Let's get our dance moves on the go. Hello and welcome. Do you have a gold card? Yes, do you still have your V card? I'm sure you do. Thank you. I'll hold on to your gold card while you are here. Please enjoy your visit. Mind you, the gold card I got back in Muscle Dome through coins in the rewards. So this is the Disco King over there. You, that girl there, you look like a natural born dancer. Do you want to take lessons from me? Okay. Good, that's the spirit. Now, just do what I do and dance. Okay, so this is a mini game strictly for Noah because, well, do you really want to see Gala or Vaughn doing this? Good, that's the spirit. Let me teach you. I'll teach you the basics of dancing. Look down at your feet. There is a dance step guide and marks to show you the dance moves. Press the buttons in the same timing as the flashing guide. Timing is everything. Alright, give it a try. Let's see you dance. Ready? Alright, let's dance. I mean, you gotta look at Noah's face while she's dancing. She seems so happy. She's just having a good time. If you dance well, the level rises automatically and you can try more advanced steps. Press the triangle button simultaneously with the last command, but you can only use it three times. Press the circle or square button and triangle button simultaneously for a groovy move, but you can only get to do that three times. Okay, Noah, let's see you use the triangle button. Okay, I'll do it. Go. That's cool. Aha, even cooler. Here you go. Now when you get to level 3, it obviously gets a little tougher. You can also go to a higher level by pressing the triangle button. Press it when you're ready. Use the square and X buttons to dance. Well, I'm pretty sure that means circle. And press the triangle button at the right time for a groovy move. That's the basics, Noah. Alright, practice is over. Now show me your moves, Noah. Ready? Yeah, she looks a little too happy. Go. Let's get to level 3 and amass a lot of points. Now this kind of reminds me of Parappa to Rappa in some extent. And you had to like time it right. Three, two, one. Viva! 419 points, how about that? If you get like 400 points or more in your practice, well, you'll get something good. Well, if I had to score that dancing, I'd give it... 419 points! Noah, there's nothing more I can teach you. As a final prize, I'll give you the speed chain. Ah, oh, that's nice to have, thanks. Now, does Gala already have a speed chain? No, it's speed ring, actually. Right, let's see what the difference between Speed Ring and Speed Chain. Get the first turn in battle, that's nice. That could come in handy. It's the opposite of the Slowness Chain. Welcome everybody! Sign up for the dance contest over here! The sign up fee is 500 gold. Do you want to enter the contest? Okay. Very well. This young lady here, Miss Noah. I'll go ahead and sign you up. You do that. There are lots of talented dancers here today. Who will be the new Dance Queen of Soul? Now, let's start the preliminaries for the world famous Soul Dance Contest. Whoever wins a tough preliminary gets to compete against Queen Mary for the title. The judges are ready. When the music starts, start dancing your hearts out. Alright, let's groove on. Ready? Go! Cool. 
Now, I advise for you to use your triangles at the first moves whenever you can. Like at the first and second combination. And save the third one for last. You'll know it's last when you see the timer. Oh yeah, I'm whooping some ass on the floor. Oops, I messed that one up. But that's okay. I still got enough points to beat those hookers. I'll admit the one with the fan is pretty hot. I mean, look at those near knee high boots. Contestants, you all dance superbly. Thank you, everyone. Now for the judge's decision. The winners of the dance contest preliminaries are. Aw, oh, I feel sorry for Fangirl. Should've wore a shorter skirt, that would've got you some extra points. Ooh. Well, there's Queen Mary over there. Oh yeah, she is a better woman, alright. Now it's time for the Soul Dance Contest Finals! Noah, I'm pretty sure you're tempted to use your Noah's Ark on her. Introducing the contestants. First, a lovely dancer sure to dance gracefully tonight, with pretty green hair, Kathy. Next in the middle, a dancer of amazing skill and grace, already a legend, Queen of Dance, Mary. Last, a dark horse, an unknown now, but will that change tonight? It's Noah. Now for that breathtaking moment, the start of the dance finals. Alright, time to dethrone the champ. Ready, go! At least we get some new music for this. Thank god there's no age limit for this. Seems out Noah is what, 12 years old? There! 613 to 539! <laughs> ah! Jailbait wins! You mad, Mary? Oh my! Unbelievable! Mary has been defeated! There's a new dance queen tonight! With an elegant yet energetic style, Noah has taken the crown! Tonight is the beginning of a new legend! Yeah, good for you, Noah, even though I can't talk. The new dance queen, Noah, not receives from the dance contest committee. Prize money of 10,000 gold and the swimsuit. You can only see in Vinna, by the way. I'll show it off to you later. Besides, I have to head back to Sabuka's Islands for a couple things. One to show off that swimsuit. Another to go to Jeremy and get that, uh, new jewel from Zalan. So with that, we're practically done around this area. I got nothing else to show you in Seoul. Actually, another thing I should do is head back to that console. Maybe I can go see Dr. Usha again. Or that hologram, at least. Of course, that's the exit. Hey, what's up, kid? Ah, uh, here. I was one of Dr. Osha's personal guards. As soon as we were relieved, the mist came. After that, I don't remember anything. After he sealed the Sage's Gate, Dr. Osha left for the Northwest, saying he was returning to his lab. Oh, okay. There is writing carved into the door. The Sage's Gate is open, blah blah blah. Okay, whatever. 
Uh, I guess we'll just leave. I believe there is somewhere where you can hear the password, but I'm not entirely sure. Luckily, I remember it. Have you met His Majesty Emperor Tor the Eighth? No. But you must! His Majesty wishes to speak to you! He has something to tell you! His Majesty can be found at the inn on the lower floor. Please go see him. Hmm, maybe I should go see him first. Let's do that. If I remember correctly, the inn was over this way? Yeah, there he is. Okay, bottom floor of the inn. That's where I need to go. This is him, His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Ator the Eighth. You? I am Ator Igna Ignau Dirk de la Mesintis the Eighth, Emperor of Sol. You there? Are you the one called Vaughn? Yes. I see. I have heard much of your exploits. I am pleased. Many citizens fell victim to the mist in the long years before you arrived. But you have saved us. I also foresaw the danger posed by the floating castle. I ordered Dr. Usha to seal the Sage's Gate. I was correct in doing so. I have from Usha a message intended for the heroes who revived the Genesis Tree. XX Triangle Circle Square I know not what it means, but apparently it is a password. That is the message. I now entreat you to destroy the abominable floating castle. Good work. Give my regards to Usha when you see him. Uh, you seem like a nice emperor. Even though you don't exactly look dressed like one. But who am I to complain? Anyways... Let's head back to Jeremy and then head to Vidna to show off Noah's swimsuit. Because we can. Hey, what's up? Oh, Vaughn, are you going out? Yeah. I see. If you go to the northeast, you'll reach Buma, City of Ravines. From there, go west to reach the tower where Dr. Osha lives. Well, thanks for giving me the directions. But I'm not gonna head there yet. Soon, though. Soon. Wait, Zora's floating castle? I thought Zora's lived in the water! Oh, this must be the Zelotis family. Well, well! It looks like the kids revived the Genesis Tree of Soul. Not bad. When you want that blue-haired brat dead, just say the word, Zora, and he's dead. Ha 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 ha! You're quite confident. But leave them be. While they're wandering around, Koru will... Don't worry about Koru. Leave him to the Delilah's family. Haha! <laughs> then go. I'm counting on you. Yes, ma'am. Songi, what are you doing here? Uh, there seems to be more trouble afoot. Looks like we're going to be de dealing with the Delilah's family soon enough. But first, we got other matters to take care of. First off, we go to Jeremy. Seems how I still have that raw Seru egg. It's time to refine it. And this is the guy to do it. I want to make it up to Pepe. I want to make up for those last 10 years. I want to make new memories. But anyway, I'm a jeweler. If you have any precious gems, I will appraise... Oh. Well, well. That is a very rare gem indeed. May I see it? Uh, sure, see the earth egg. This is amazing. It is not exactly a gem, but it is quite a treasure. And I sense an amazing power inside it. If you wish, I will work on this for you. Making an accessory out of it may bring out its amazing power. Sure, rework it. 
<laughs> intently. Finished at last. So now we have the Earth Talisman. It's quite good worksmanship, if I say so myself. Okay, the thing about the Earth Talisman is it not only gives you increased strength against Earth attacks, but... Let's try it on Gala, for instance. You can now summon a Raseru of Earth called Palma. It costs 200 MP, but attacks all enemies with Meteor Cluster. Sadly, it's only at level 1. But, oh well, we'll just level it up as we go along. Alright, we're done in Jeremy for now. We'll have to come back to Zalan every now and then once we get more Saber Eggs, or raw Saber Eggs. And trust me, you will be seeing quite a few. Okay, I believe in Vinna is where you show off Noah's swimsuit. I don't remember exactly how you pull it off, but I'm sure we can always try the beach. That would seem like the closest assessment. So let's try the beach. Oh, camera stone! I like those! Can I try it? Okay. Ah, there's Noah with her spin suit. Huh, look at Gala, what's he doing? Yes, it's a tree. Oh. Camera stone broken to pieces. Those tourist stone souvenirs sure are pieces of junk. I couldn't agree more. Alright, right before we go, why don't we buy some more items? I see as how I got a lot of money. I think I'll buy some magic leaves. There, I amassed a lot of points, and I like to keep it that way. Some more doors of light, and some more doors of wind. And I get a few more medicine as well. As long as I keep going back to the slots in Seoul, making a lot of Soru bread out of the money I get, and then selling it, I'm sure to have a very good source of income. Alright, let's use another door of wind, and head back to Karisto Station. Seeing as how that's closer to get to Dr. Usha's than, well, going through Seoul, because you have to go around the mountains, pass through the station anyway. You're better off going in that direction. Okay, that path over there takes us to Seoul. So we have to go this way to get to Dr. Usha's. I believe it's that tower over there. So, let's go. I don't know if you can use incense, like, in the overworld. I hope you can. But if not, that would be a good time to show off that new Palma. So, let's take on Moldy Worms and a Groot. Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, go for you. <laughs> nice claws there, by the way. That... And let's try out Palma for the first time. The good thing about Tough Love is it confuses foes, like I mentioned before. I don't know if you level up Palma with one person, it'll retain the same level for others. Or stick to one person exclusively. Remember, most of this is blind, so I never really know what everything this game does. Okay, this looks a little over-glorified. Whoa! That looks badass. Meteor Cluster! And what happened to the music? Oh, there's the music. I think I just killed everyone. Wait. Huh! <laughs> Overkill! And <laughs> we get an extra medicine anyway. Jeez. That Palma is very powerful. 
course, its summoning takes a long time. Okay, you can use the incense here. I don't think we'll be running into any new enemies for a while. At least I don't think so. Might as well use this as a good opportunity to explore some places. There seems to be a town over there. It looks like some of the trees are cold. Is there snow? Okay, it does look pretty chilly, but we're not going to look there yet. We'll come back to Buma later. Unfortunately, they have some mist issues. Well, pretty much this entire area does. <sighs> There's that floating castle again. So, this must be where Dr. Usha is. Let's go in. Not that it matters, but I think we will be having some battles on the way. Well, on the outside, whoa. If you have business here, speak into the voice tube. Doctor! Doctor Usha! Is Doctor Usha there? Who is it? It's me, Noah! I came to see you, Doctor! Noah? I don't know any Noah. We're on a journey to wipe the mist from the face of the earth. We came seeking knowledge, Dr. Usha. Please let us in. Well... You may just be clever, Seru. You say you want to destroy the mist. If you're telling the truth, you must know the password from someone in Seoul. Well, let me hear the password. X, X, triangle, circle, square. That's it! So you are the heroes! You're finally here! Just wait a moment. I'll send down the elevator, so wait a moment. And there's the elevator. That will take us up to Dr. Usha. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video here, and in the next part, we're gonna go visit the doctor. Goodbye, everyone.